Toss back. Oh, Sumel the legend. The debut match of Enigma Galaxy with Sumel in the mid lane, playing with the legend Miracle. It's the dream team. Sumel and Miracle, the unstoppable duo. You heard it here first. Miracle with the boundless strike immediately into skill and the cookies without hesitation. Mind control skills axes as well. They really want this. This is blood thirsty from Nigma Galaxy are diving the tier one at negative 40 seconds into the game. First blood for Miracle and he misses the mischief there. What a noob. But this team, you can tell instantly from how they just played the game. They skilled all the skills to get the first blood. Do you want cookie level one on Snapfire? No, you do not. You know why? Because it doesn't help you secure last hits in the laning stage. But did he just get it so he could get first blood? Yes, he did. Anyway, they will be going against a team that I am fairly unfamiliar with in Ivy, Season 3 of the DPC, Western Europe Division 2. And Sumel is playing the mid coddle versus low 13A, I don't know, Mobe? I don't know his name, sorry guys. In the safe lane, we have Miracle and Kuroki versus Max and Kupe. And in the safe lane, we have low skill, I'm very familiar with that, and Jim Vinso against Mind Control and GH. Sumel, one of the best mid players in Dota history, playing the lowest skill mid hero in Dota history. Should be exciting. So this game is really hype. It's because I got some uh, I got some background on this one, right? Sumel, TI5 champion, much like myself. The champions of the international Good friends. We've played uh, a lot of Dota together. The fun fact is Sumel for a very long time, even when I was playing on EG, has wanted to play with Kuro. And just this team in general. He's like uh, good friends with everyone on this team. I think this is like a dream come true for him, like a dream team, you would even say. So I think motivation wise, he should be more motivated than ever to play Dota, which is a scary thing. When players have motivation, they can achieve great things. Beautiful. Look at this gameplay by Sumel here. Press one button and deleted the enemy range creep. Absolutely beautiful. Then walks to the small camp. He's already farmed it so many times that he says, fuck the water rune. I don't need this shit because I am not a normal mid hero. Like, you don't even play Dota on this. Like, I love watching Sumel play mid, but like, he's not actually playing mid right now. Oh, this is kind of cool. You'll see. A little thing he did, like the golems, like there's a fade, kind of like a delay on the illuminate. So as the golem dies and splits, it'll actually hit him twice. It'll hit the big one and the small one at the same time, because uh, the illuminate persists. It lingers for a little bit. That's why I didn't finish him off before doing that illuminate there. I mean, there's a lot of little efficiency things here, but Smell doing what he does best, and that's farming fast. Well, Smell does a couple things really well, like as a player. I think Sumel's ability to farm fast is one of his best strengths. He's actually an incredibly fast farmer, but he also has an amazing killer instinct too, which is why for the longest time he was like so dominant on the mid lane. And to top that all off, he was also incredibly good at laning, right? So like when you added all those things, three things together, he was by far the best mid player in the world for a long time. But somewhere down the road, mid got much more low skilled and he stopped dominating in the mid lane. And he made the mistake of like trying to play carry. But we, we've all been there. I think the only problem right now for Ivy is uh, Enigma is just like winning the lanes too hard. Roar is available. There is a cookie and he will use it on the boar. Chain stun. Can I get the decrepify off? This is a siege push as well. And meanwhile, on the top lane, Miracle has destroyed. Uh oh, he's not, he looks like he's out, TPing to the mid lane, good choice. And now there is a Boots of Travel Coddle running around the map now. Things are getting scary. Tiny has combo available, but he uses the combo. And it looks like Miracle might think about going. He does go, but what can he possibly do here? He is just asserting his dominance and getting a bit of Jingu stacks here. Kuroki is nearby, and it looks like Pugna's a little deep here. Kuroki throws a hammer at him here. 
but Smell has joined the party here. Nigma being incredibly aggressive here, so it looks like because you've lost the laning stage here on Ivy, Nigma showing signs of like their former self and the, their aggression, not allowing this Dusa to farm the triangle here. It's like you're gonna pick Dusa, and you want to farm all these stacks? Miracle's like no, no, you are not. And they're just gonna sit in the triangle here. Croaky at some point will probably drop a ward, or he will just be a walking ward himself. Meanwhile, Sumel has stolen the stack over here with his caudal. There's only an Ancient left, and yet they still continuously try to stack this. But what they're not having in this game is supports that can do anything. And look at Mind Control, immediately in the mid lane. Nigma Galaxy completely hub stomping this game and dominating. And I think that one thing to note about like what they're doing so well here, it's like this game kind of went from zero to 100 real fast. You're gonna notice they are communicating clearly, very, very clearly about what the objective of this game is. And I agree with this choice wholeheartedly. When you're playing heroes like Monkey King, you are not gonna out farm a Medusa in a 50-50 game. Most of the time on your Monkey King, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go farm back here, I guess. I'm gonna max Primal Spring. And you're gonna just farm slower than a Medusa with Split Shot. But what your hero can do that Medusa cannot do is you can participate in early fights. So Nigma's deciding their goal of this game is to stop Medusa from farming. And something that Ivy is really lacking in this game is useful supports. Like both Phoenix and Pugna are incredibly level dependent heroes. They don't really do much until they get levels. So as Nigma is closing in on their triangle, they can't really defend it. They really have to like rely on this timing to do so. But he's not having the greatest game either. Sumel just kills the Phoenix. And then you'll just see how they just keep running into the triangle. They're not going to let him farm. There's a ward up here now. They see Dusa. They're going to run a Dusa. Croaky's just going to chill in here. Make sure that nothing can happen. He's going to walk up to Miracle. If they ever get this tier 1 tower, this game will get really ugly. I mean, it's already pretty ugly, but it's going to get worse. And then they try going on Croaky here, but he does have... The Heavenly Grace available. Arena is used. Boss 5 is down, but Sumel is in. They'll just back up a little bit. Not much to do here. You'll notice Miracle going for the Diffusal Blade instead of Battle Fury. Obviously good versus Medusa, but at the same time, he wants to be aggressive. And it looks like they have found Miracle. Used a full combo on him. The Mortimer's Kisses are out. Miracle is low, but he is not dead. And Kroki is here with a Heavenly Grace. Primal Roar from Mind Control. Everyone has joined. Enigma Galaxy has brought five heroes. Playing with full confidence right now. The name of the game here is to not let Medusa farm. They're actually just ignoring both their side lanes and just running at the triangle. Sometimes you can do this if you are far ahead or if you have the right strategy. I have not seen a team do this in a long time. I also haven't like really you know, reviewed a game that was this big of a stomp in a while in the laning stage. But it's not only just because they're stomping in the early game, it's their movements are very intentional, right? They could easily just win the laning stage and not be here. But they realize Medusa is weak now, and they are going to try and fight and take everything away that they can. Looks like Sumel is in, the arena goes out onto the Monkey King. Medusa does not have ultimate skill. A bit of a mistake here, considering how much pressure is being put on her in this game. Egg is out. Does not get any spells off. Oh! And they actually the Decrepify from the Pugna. A dive will be available. It looks like Miracle will go down. Sumel will go down. Enigma Galaxy are punished a bit for their overaggression here. I think probably the mistake here from Nigma is like trying to farm the stack without seeing Ivy leave the base. If you really think about it, like the only way they can lose a team fight, in my opinion, is if the Ancients are fighting against them. So like they smoke up and not be breaking the smoke here because they're all farming here. Like this is just like a fundamentally not good. So like you're going to see the stacking here. I've been talking about how good Nigma's playing by putting the pressure up and using this net worth advantage, not only net worth advantage, but hero advantage, just realizing Medusa's a slow hero. Monkey King's a fast hero. You're winning the game. Dusa farms faster than Monkey. Okay, so how do we fix that problem? Just don't let Dusa farm with your Monkey. You're not gonna farm much on your Monkey either, but Dusa's also not gonna be farming much, which means you're still gonna be ahead in net worth. But the second problem that happens here is, from their perspective, they're not gonna see that much. They're gonna see Mars TPN. They see everyone. They see everyone from Ivy just chilling here. They shouldn't be doing this ancient stack. Not with everyone, at least. If they do want to do it, it has to be, like, low commitment, is what I'd call it. 
You have to be doing it without losing HP, but you for sure need to be blocking smoke inks from here and from here. Because if you block their smoke ink here, they can't make an initiation like this, right? His smoke would have popped already. Now they're getting owned by ancients. Now all of a sudden, mind control and croaky are at like 30% health. And this is how the fight starts. And that's all because they did not stop. They did not like pop the smoke here. And they're just hitting ancients. And now there's going to be a great arena combo. I think Medusa for sure should have a point in stone gaze. And this fight would have been like an ultra stomp. Tiny reinitiates. Pugna gets a great decrepify when Egg only has one hit left. Following into a couple more kills here. And that's it. It's a team wipe. Oh, here it is. The unstoppable duo. Miracle and Sumel. The dream team. Ganging up on poor Pugna. Enigma is using mind control to farm out the bottom lane. You'll notice. First thing I'm noticing right away. I think this is why like Miracle and Sumel are going to work really well together. And I'm excited to watch them play. Is uh, you see how Miracle's not farming? You see how aggressive he is playing? That suits Sumel super well, if you can play that way. If you can actually make it happen. And when you have a captain like Kuroki as well, that generally, just by default, you know, back when he was on Liquid, right? And when they were dominating, they were the most aggressive team in the scene. Over time, slowly but surely, like the two-time winning TI Champions OG overthrew them in that department. But I think they're trying to, like rebuild that play style and they're looking to play super aggressive and i think they need to try something new to like revitalize like this team miracle just hard farming with sumel on team it's not gonna work sumel is not the type of player that's just gonna run around the map sacrifice his network and let you 1v5 carry the game like it didn't work with arteezy right at some point sumel needs the net worth he needs to get the farm and he's really good with the farm and if he can find that carry player that can play around that and Miracle just might be that guy. Miracle can do both. I mean, Miracle's an amazing player, one of the best. He can play hard farming carries, absolutely. But he also has the ability to play aggressive and in your face. I think that's what's most exciting to like see them like kind of like show that in their debut match here. Miracle gets his arena off here. Really low HP. I mean, really, it was just Kuroki who kind of like saved this team fight. Like, you'll see that <laughs> that started the fight. Instantly got rid of it. The Mortimer is in the back, following it up. Some Elzer too. They just let the egg go off. No big deal. The arena really out of position there. I think he was trying to protect the egg, but the egg was already perfectly fine. So a bit of a misread there by the Mars. However, mind control during that whole time, he was bottom, right? He saw a fight was coming out. He TP'd to the outpost and came on over here. Yet again, Miracle just playing in the face of the opponent. They haven't touched their triangle, by the way, this game. Most games, you farm your triangle, enemy farms their triangle. Maybe you make a couple smokes here and there, kill the enemy carry. This time, the enemy carry is trying to kill the your carry, I guess. Wraith Pact online. Why does Wraith Pact work on Roche, guys? I'll never know. Purge onto the Phoenix. It looks like he's just gonna die to zero hit. Oh, three hits from Miracle. Sorry. And just all the damage from Sumel. Miracle takes the Aegis. Max does not have a TP. Enigma's super aggressive playstyle here. Deusa just farming. Deusa's win rate's pretty abysmal across like all regions in this patch ever since they nerfed it. Main reason for it is being AFK as a carry, unless that carry is completely broken with a couple items, just isn't good this patch. It's bad. Sumel Juke in there. Oh, and then the kisses. Can Max dodge him? Nope. GH, the sniper. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. This is getting a little bit bloody here, but you're kind of like getting the gist here of like how aggressive Nigma's being right now. You got Miracle on one end with mind control making plays while in the same time they're making plays on the mid lane. Just really abusing the fact that they're just so far ahead of this game. 
And like gold wise, like it's not even as bad as I'd expect. But like the allocation of their heroes in this game has just been spot on. They've only made really one mistake this game by like camping the triangle and like not blocking smokes. But other than that, like this has been like some uh, beautiful aggressive dodo. Surprise Miracle is like not even going for a BKB at all, but. I think he heard it's gonna be removed next patch anyway, so I'm already practicing for it. Looks like they're trying to kill Miracle, but Omni Knight is too strong. They don't manage getting him. Egg is down. Everything is down. Miracle will have to be slightly careful here after some buybacks that come out from Ivy, which... No skill is running in, zoning them here. And the Hawk Dive goes in with the axes. Camille is going to knock him back into Miracle. He is going to proc. And... Mars bought back, spears into nothing. A little bit demoralized here on Ivy, I'd imagine. The symphony of fails. We are here in Division 2 of Western Europe here, so this is their, their area to train to be the best. All I'm noticing is, like, how good Miracle is playing with Sumel this game. It's honestly beautiful. And it's not only just those two, right? Like, you're gonna highlight them, and, like, I just cursed them, right? Like, he's feeding now, but... The rest of the team is playing really well. Like, Mind Control is also not being overly greedy. He's, like, showing up. Like, they're really showing that they're just, like, a team that wants to get in your face. They want to battle 24-7. And they don't want to just sit back and farm. And I think that's the correct read of this current patch. And historically speaking, the team that does this the best is going to be the teams that succeed. And the Hawk Dive canceling the real dive. And then another roar. 10k gold advantage here for Enigma Galaxy. He has no Manta. He has no Manta. He's low mana. Okay, he's getting a lot of mana back now. Watch this. Ooh. Just getting kited out of his mind here. Looks like Kroki is going to get stunned up, and so is the Caudal stuck in the arena here. The Scotty is up, and Sumel will be going down. A little bit of a misplay there. Like, I kind of want to watch that in slow motion, because I'm retired now, and, like, I can make fun of people now for making mistakes. So Sumel ends up getting stone gaze in the arena. He had BKB. He could have easily just walked away, but he tried to get one more Illuminate in there. Kind of cost him his life there. And the Hawk Dive. Beautiful. It's not not the most fun shard in the game. I love this. I like how GH made a mech this game. Like, I kind of, like, mentioned, like, how aggressive they're being and how they keep, like, trying to push their limits as a team. Items help with that. This is not a normal Snapfire item. He bought the mech so Miracle can go a little bit deeper, you know? With the Omni. They just have more survivability. They know how aggressive they want to play, and I wouldn't be surprised to see this trend continue if Nigma continues to, like, play this way. It's just, like, get an early mech. Get an early holy lock, or whatever it might be, and, like, something to, like, help them. The hawk dive with the stun, doesn't even have to use the roar. Dusa is dead. That was all set up because Miracle is playing very aggressive. You're gonna see here. I'll rewind it. Instead of farming here, like a noob, he wants to be a Chad. That's up on the Medusa here. Boom, Manta down. Now you're gonna get purged. You're stuck in the arena. You're getting mana burned. The Hawk is coming. It's gonna stun you. You're dead. Uh oh. Tiny trying to wrap, but guess who's on the case? It's your boy Miracle. Maybe not setting up this kill. GH set it up, but active. We're going to have another Q available with the stun. We're going to get a proc. But we are going to cancel that blink dagger forever. I like how the whole team of Nigma does not overreact to this. Very important. They still control this part of the map. Enemy triangle, mid lane. They allow their team to get a kill. They are ahead 11k gold. Normally, I would say they need to respect that play and back out. But given how far ahead they are in this game, if you have that much of a net worth lead advantage, pretty much are just like up a hero, I'd say. And items alone. Going for Roche number two with the Agadim Shard here. I like Mind Control's build this game. I really do. Wraith Pax is obviously a great item. Straight into the BKB. He has uh, 
the Hawk Dive, which is kind of like a Blink Dagger replacement in a way. And it also gives you like another form of stun that isn't on such a long cooldown. GH initiating here onto the Medusa. But we're going to get a Hawk Dive into the Roar. Are we going to time it? Yes, we are. But the... Wait, what? Somebody help me understand what just happened. We'll check it out later, though. But low skill here is stuck in the arena. He's going to try and TP out, but there's no chance here. He's just going to die a sad and miserable death. Max also looking like he is going to bite the dust. Oh, no. Pognos going to heal him up the best he can. Good toss there from the tiny. And now let's go check out some fun Dota mechanics. Toss back. Oh, Sumel the legend. What a beast. He knocked him back. He blinding light him while he was being tossed back to bring him back to the team. And this game is over now. GG. Enigma Galaxy here really showing like signs of the old, old, like croaky led Team Liquid. When they were super dominant, super aggressive in your face, Sumel and Miracle worked out really well. I hope they continue to like play like this. I think a lot of people don't understand Sumel as a player and what he needs to succeed. I think Nygma might be like one of the best fitted homes for him and really excited to see how this team progresses.